Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. So in The Long View we're playing games, free to play mobile games for as long as possible. Uh, and this game we're playing today is Legendary. So we did a first time user experience last week and now we're kind of on day three effectively of gameplay. Uh, so let's go in and see what's been happening since the first time user experience. So. As you can see, it's a card-based game. It's actually a card-based kind of match three RPG. So quite a few kind of elements going on there. Kind of, I guess kind of hybridization. I should say that. Um, <laughs> so these are my cards. So it's in a sense, kind of straightforward. So you can see, um, you can only have five in a. So up here, this is my kind of team. I can have more teams. Oh, one, one more team at least. Um, so five in a five in a kind of a. A squad you also borrow players um, from other from other cards from other players um, but I've only got five at the moment because basically whenever you get spare cards you, you use them so you kind of consume them either to power up or evolves different so evolve is uh, you need these catalysts catalysts which I haven't got and then there's the awaken which is the old um, have a duplicate of the card and, and combine them together to um, add a star. So at the moment, Kita is my leader, who's two star. If I had another Kita, I could add to her. I'd get three stars. So that's all pretty typical for card um, collection kind of games. You know, let's actually go in and do something. I mean, just kind of see here, not particularly impressive selection of cards really at this stage. But it is what it is, kind of a range of different elements. So the different colours of different elements. Um, and that kind of plays into the match three side of it. Okay, I don't think there's really anything else to say. Well, actually, one thing there is to say at the top, you can see there we have the usual gold, um, golden gems and energy. So soft currency, hard currency, and uh, energy energy system. Quite a lot of um, Asian RPGs now are being very generous with the energy at the beginning of the game. Um, this is a US developed game, but uh, quite st I don't know if stingy is the right word. Um, you do run out of energy fairly quickly, so that's a little bit different to some of the other games we're seeing before. Potentially that's because they maybe gating players don't want them to consume too much um, content too quickly. That's often why people use energy systems. Anyway, let's go and do. So there's um, different kind of things I can do. So there's a it's kind of main campaign. You can see there's 330 um, levels on that at the moment. Then there's this kind of burning passion, kind of I guess at an event. And then there's this earth dungeon, which I can't unlock at the moment. And there's um, these other ones, scavenge things and potions. So things where you go in to kind of get different, collect different kind of um, rewards. So I've not really done any of this, I've only been doing the ones at the top. Um, so let's go in and do a main campaign, see how I get on, probably not great. Um, so I've finished the first quest I've done, I think I've restarted, I mean obviously it's the first quest, so no great prizes there. Um, so we can see here, we can see here actually the beginning, so first two are five um, energies, the next one's a Ten, now we're up to kind of fifteen, but you've only got kind of you know we've only got thirty-eight energies, so effectively you can only do two of these. Um, so as you can see why I'm saying it's limited. Um, anyway, let's go and try this. So I can um, borrow an adventurer, so effectively have six in my um, in my squad. Obviously, kind of don't they're obviously high-powered kind of leader types, but I don't necessarily want one that's in the same element set that I've already got. So let's go for Starcaller Commando. So he's added, and in we go. So one thing to say, this is obviously designed for iPhone. I'm playing this on an iPad, iPad Pro, in fact. So it's a bit kind of clunky <laughs> to, in terms of how you do this. But um, so uh, you just have to match three. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, what's interesting is there's a time-based element to it. Um, and the thing I found is I'm not really good at match three. Um, so you always have to be kind of looking to see. Um, Talking at the same time, as well. I'm not really good at kind of matching stuff up super quick. Um, so I'm always looking at the bottom of the screen while I'm playing to get the matches in because you've only got a certain period of time in which to do it. So it's all very kind of quick. So I'm not really looking to see, not really bothering actually much about the elemental side of it, which is kind of where you're matching the colours to the kind of players you've got. Uh, that was rubbish. Um, and I'm not really looking to see kind of who the enemy are because I'm just like frantically looking to see <laughs> what matches I can make. Um, I can do that one. Um, a lot of these match-free games, obviously, they're kind of the really big, ooh, the really big one um, globally was Puzzle and Dragons, I mean, more of a Japanese game, um, but you know, billion-dollar kind of game. Um, yeah. 
much. Um, and that had a different kind of system, so it was match three, but you could kind of, you could, as I remember anyway, you could kind of draw, you kind of could draw, a, you know, around and kind of pull different, uh, you know, pull different elements around. There was a bit more kind of, although you could autoplay, couldn't you? Um, it seemed a bit more strategy, whereas this is a bit more kind of um, match three light. Because it's quite a small grid, so you get a lot of these kind of accidental stuff. Like, oh, that's a rubbish move, and I just got an epic six, and I didn't mean to do that at all. And that's just kind of luck, so there's a certain amount of luck in there. Um, but there is this kind of, I think, when you get into it a little bit more, oop, I could have done another one there. You can kind of probably see moves where you, you move one, or you're kind of moving stuff around the grid, not just to get a match, but to kind of. So this one here I can do, I just do a match, and it matches two up, so that's quite cool, but obviously it's just not, there's no skill involved. Um, so I guess that in the long-term playability of the game, it's quite how um, how much kind of deep skill you can develop in doing the match three, or whether it's just like oh yeah, match three, whatever. Um, or obviously the other interesting thing is, can you auto play? So with a lot of um, Asian RPGs now, um, auto play is the big thing because match three is match three, but basically what you want is the meta game. So this being a US developed game, I'm not quite sure what their view is on auto play. They're very um, inspired by Japanese games, so I'd be quite surprised there wasn't anything in there that is auto play. So they didn't three star that one because they didn't do it in enough turns. So this is quite skill based com compared to, um, which is kind of typical, I guess, for Western developed games. They tend to be a lot more skill based than, than Asian games, which are much more focused on meta game grinding and certainly in China, um, pay to win. So in China, if you spending money, so now I can add this guy as a friend, this ally. Um, if in China, if you're play, if you're spending money, then you obviously want to have a good experience and win, <laughs> which is kind of fair enough, isn't it? So what we've got here, so here's a card. So what have I gained? I've gained the Flamebound Daughter and the Flamebound Initiate. So I can go, no, I don't think I can, let's have a look. So can I awaken him? Because he's probably not at max. Can I, I can, so there we go. Um, I can't awaken him though, because I haven't got any mana. So this is kind of another interesting kind of um, gating system. So I only get mana by doing the guild stuff and I haven't got any um oh he's maxed out as well you see so I can't even I can't level him up can't power him up um, can't evolve him because I haven't got the fire essence scatter so he's kind of maxed out he's not a very high level card you can see um so I can just power up this guy um so yeah so it's kind of really forcing you to join a guild which I haven't done yet um so um so I can put those two in and power them up and this is quite a nice thing, so I test my fate, I mean, it's a bit of a kind of what they call gacha, a random thing, so I've got 5% XP, I can accept the fate, I can watch an ad, let's do that then, I can draw again, spend some of my currency, let's watch an ad, I'll get Polarium, is it Vikings, I don't wonder what game are they uh, advertising today, it looks like Vikings to me, um, so Polarium is one of the big um, sort of hardcore midcore, however you want to describe it, uh, mobile game publishers, Israeli company very big on Facebook as well. Uh, adverts don't always necessarily show what the gameplay of these games is like. Yeah. There we go, Vikings. Okay, so I've played that already, but I don't need to download that again. So there we go. Now, did my ad, and what happens now? Drawing another card. Okay, so there we go. I've got a better card. I accept that fate. I mean, that's quite a quite nice integration of rewarded video ads, so it's doing it. This is the only place where you get rewarded video ads when you're kind of have gone through this kind of like leveling up process um, and you actually feel like there's some kind of strong reward for doing it. Uh, which is kind of what you want with rewarded video ads, I think. Um, so there we go, he's leveled up. Um, he's level 10 or 15 now. So there we go, that's all really at this point, um, kind of want to say in day three. So um, I guess because as I'm going forward, it's interesting to see obviously how fast the progression kind of works. Um, particularly, I guess, in terms of unlocking new cards and actually, I mean, obviously, I guess the the big question will be getting into a guild. I don't like joining a guild unless I know I'm going to be playing a game a lot. Um, it seems impolite to the guild if you're just going to like dip in and out. So we'll see how we get on with that. But anyway, so that's day three with Legendary. Um, so uh, don't forget to subscribe. So this is what we're doing with free-to-play mobile games, We're trying to play them as much as possible, and doing videos and talking about the the different experiences you get when you play games. Um, and you're at different stages, so kind of day one, day three, day seven, yeah, and then week two, <laughs> week week three, week four. See see how far we get before we churn up. Anyway, thanks for watching, um, and hope to see you again soon.